The deeper you go, the weirder sea life gets. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Over 70% of the earth is covered in water. True. And there's just so much to explore, so much that is unknown about mm. this vast water world. And very few people, other than Kevin Costner, know much about it. <laughs> and we're yeah, gonna, a little elbow. And we're going to find out <laughs> just Kevin how Costner. much you and you know about the water world. Not the movie, but the oceans and all the sea life in there as we play Is It a Fish or Is It Fish? Oh, fish canole. Oh, no, no, you just I got it. No, fish canole. Fish, Fish canal. Yes, yeah, so that means it would not be real. All so right. all you got to do is I'm going to say the name of a fish. Yeah. And the names of these fish are crazy. The real ones and the fake ones. Oh. You have to guess which ones are real, which ones are fake. If you get six right, you get a <laughs> deep sea prize. Oh, right. I will not be guessing because <laughs> I took my fish oil pill this morning. Oh. And every time I burp, it tastes like the answer. Wow. <laughs> you take fish oil too, don't I? I do, like... but I get the non burp version. All right. Oh. Starting with stoplight loose jaw. Stoplight loose jaw. Fish or fish -tion? Sounds like two bad guys from Ninja Turtles movie, which I'm not going to see or didn't see. Mm. Mm. <laughs> or, either or. <laughs> <laughs> I may have seen it and forgotten. <laughs> Uh, but I'm going with, yeah, man, stoplight, because, you know, there's light, deep sea creatures have lights, and it looks like a stoplight. Those fish pills are working, Link, you're right. This is a real fish. Look at this thing, and look at the video of this thing. <laughs> Open in his mouth. <laughs> this guy's just taking it. This is, now, this is not in the ocean, Link. This is in a lab, and that guy. Oh, that guy's a, not holding his breath. He's a scientist, <laughs> and he is just Why does sci the, scientists don't play with fish like that? That's well, no this scientist. Guy does. That's an intern. That's Poseidon. Like, That's I Poseidon broke in the himself. lab and started messing with the weird looking stoplight. That right? was Poseidon, actually, Link. Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's what he looks like. How about this one? Poseidon. The all American. Oh, did I? Let me tell you a little something about that stoplight loose jaw. Besides the loose jaw, it does have it does have lights. It has a red light and a green light. The green light is for prey to come and and come in and they lure it in and then it eats it. And the red light is for mating. <laughs> okay. All okay. American trash Red fish. Red light special. All American trash fish. Fish or fish? -tion? Man, that right there is an all American trash fish. I think that's just a euphemism for a fish I'm throwing back from the front of my bass boat because it's not a bass. Okay. False. You're right, Link. It's fish. -tion. It's not a fish, but it is the name of the new band I've started on the side. We're a fish cover band. <laughs> And we play a very trashy version of all the fish songs. Name one fish song. It's actually not a band. It's me doing karaoke this Friday. You want to come? <laughs> no. I'm going to get real trashy, and I'm going to sing a lot of fish songs. You're Name all one. invited. Name one. Do you know one? I don't know one fish okay. song. Then let's, let's press on then. Terrible. You're doing great, by the way. Thank Terrible you, Terrible Claw Lobster. Terrible Claw Lobster. <clears throat> fish or fish? Man, there's... Scraping the bottom of the fish naming boat with that one. Bucket? Is it a bucket that you scrape the bottom of or a boat? You can scrape either one. Depends on what mood you're in. The terrible claw lobster is in the bottom of the boat <clears throat> that you're scraping. Yeah, it's a terrible looking claw on that lobster. <laughs> I'm not very creative, but I'm naming it. Yes, true. Wow, Link, you're so good at this. You should have been a marine biologist. Look at that terrible claw. Yeah, Link, for an extra point, can you guess which one is the terrible claw? <laughs> the one that looks like an alligator's mouth? That's uh, crazy. You're right, but I'm not gonna give you an extra point because that was just too easy. Actually, Red Lobster was about to add this to the menu when they realized it was a translucent white lobster. It's not quite as catchy. Let's oh. go to the translucent white lobster and get some cheddar biscuits. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, I'm glad they made that decision. <laughs> Sarcastic fringe head. Sarcastic fringe head. How, I mean, a fringe head, yes. Sarcastic, fish or no. Fish -tion. Dude, fish you. Or fish -tion. How, how is a deep sea fish sarcastic? No, you made this up. <laughs> you sad person. I didn't, it's real, Link. It's real. Look at that thing. Look how sarcastic that head is. 
Are you kidding me? No, and watch, watch two of them in action, fighting. Look at this, look at how they open their mouths towards each other. Are you sure they're fighting? <laughs> they could be making out. I think they're just making sarcastic remarks directly into each other's mouth. But that's what they do, they just do that to intimidate each other and other fish. It's that's completely cool. pointless. That's cool. It's like my hair. Serves no purpose except for show. <laughs> I'm glad you finally no, come no, to grips with no that. No function whatsoever. <laughs> it's totally sarcastic, fringe head. Bean smuggler. Bean <laughs> smuggler. Is this a fish or is it fish? <sighs> Anything bean related is highly likely to have been made up by you. If it was uh, a if it was a bean and wood smuggler. <laughs> it would definitely have been made up by you. Okay, okay. I see where you're going with that. Uh, so yeah, you made this up, man. You're a bean fiend. <laughs> you're right, Link. <laughs> you're it's so, fiction. You're, you're so sad. It's not a fish. It's actually an Italian man in a Speedo who just came out of some really cold water. <laughs> <laughs> Boil it for safety. All right, let's There's the moving. bean smuggler. Overt. Overt? Covert? Covert. Avert. Avert your eyes. <laughs> Covert your eyes. Spy Sorry. on him. Spy on the bean smuggler. I'm looking at it. Well, no, I'm not. I promise I'm not looking at it. Uh, okay. Well, okay. Have I won already? No, I you feel haven't. amazing. You, you've, gotten, uh, you've gotten four, though. You're doing great. Yeah. P Purple Plymouth Prowler. Purple Plymouth Prowler. I'm not going to say it. Fish I'm not going to try to say it. Purple Plymouth Prowler. <laughs> <laughs> a prowler is that sad car that Plymouth made. And I've seen a purple one. <laughs> See, really? I, I'm all over you on this one, man. How did you, you know that? You better send me a picture of a purple Plymouth prowler. Yes, Link. False. Because I knew it. I got your goat. Listen, because. I'm eating your lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so, there are moments where you really frighten me, and I, and I question why you're my best friend. That was one of them. You're right, Link. Purple, purple, it prowler. is a car, and I was I wanted to show it to you because I thought it would be a good look for you. You can go I into thought fields about getting one of these. and attract ladies in leopard print dresses if you get one of these. I know that's what you're into. Mm -hmm. Purple Priscillas are always prowling around my purple Plymouth Prowler. You're right, Link. It's a car. It debuted in 1997. It's not currently being made. Apparently it's not real popular. Yeah, I, have you seen it? Pink see-through Fantasia. Pink see-through Fantasia. Please also be a car. I want to see this as a car. No, this is real, man. I loved her in American Idol. She was so amazing back then. She was. So are you saying she's a singer or she's a fish? Both. Fish. You're right, fish. Link, it's a real fish. Look at this thing. It's pink, and you can see through right into that beautiful intestinal tract. Oh, my goodness. It's like a human intestine inside of a jellyfish. Yeah, well, that's exactly what it is. What? It's manufactured by scientists. No, what? no, that's just a real jellyfish with a beautiful intestine. It also happens to be the name of a little number I got my wife from Victoria's Secret for our 15th year anniversary. Picture? <laughs> She said, will you get me one of those pink see-through Fantasias? I was like, well, I already got one. <laughs> uh, I've been holding on to it. So no picture? No picture? No, of course not. But what about the gold lace nudie branch? <laughs> oh, hold on, Link. You, you've actually already gotten six, but you know what? Boom! For extra credit, I just want you to experience the gold leaf nudie branch. <laughs> gold lace nudie branch. Go oh, yeah, sorry. The gold lace nudie branch. Please, it's real? And it's not a car or something your wife wore. Show it to me. It is real, Link, and I'm very excited to tell you about this because it is basically just a hermaphrodite sea slug. <clears throat> Aren't we all? That has a <laughs> pronged penis that grows back every time it gets ripped out while mating, which I question whether or not that's worth it. <laughs> it's, it's worth it. Oh, okay, so what do I win? Link. And it better not be uh, one of those that you ripped off of that guy. Link, you win a very special deep sea prize that Alex and Mike found. Found? <laughs> like what, under Alex's bed? I think they caught it, didn't you guys catch it? They caught it, man. Okay. On this little rod. If you take it off the hook, I'll hold it. Congratulations, it's just gonna lay down. Don't put it on right. my side. Lay Thanks down. for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is.
Hi, I'm Melissa. Hey, I'm Becca. We're from Washington State, and I'm playing Pinocchio. I'm playing Peter Pan. And Shrek the Musical Junior, and it's time I'm to spin the Wheel, Wheel of Mythicality. Check out this Saturday's episode of Good Mythical Crew, where you can see just how Mike and Alex acquired this fish. Ah, Good Mythical Crew every Saturday morning. Right now, click through to Good Mythical Marvel. We're going to play a video game. It's called Stick Bold. It is a dodgeball within the world dodgeball. of video games. Eulogy for someone who died turning jeans into jorts. He was an amazing man he with many ingenuitive ideas. He loved he loved calves, and I don't mean baby cows. I mean actual the bottom parts of people's legs. He, he lo loved them so much oh, that yeah. he that that he made jeans into jorts. He just come up to, one time. He just Fred. His name was Fred. Fred he just came up to me and I was wearing some jeans and he just, just before snip, I knew snip, it, he snipped, 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 right snipped. He off. said, I just wanted to see your calves and most of your thigh. And that's when he died. Yes, because I took this, I didn't, I thought it was somebody robbing me and he I just took, took the, the scissors, scissors and I stabbed and him right him. in his face. And But it was just manslaughter and I'm currently on trial, but because we were good friends, I'm here doing his eulogy. It all makes sense in the world that we've created. So here's to Fred. He died doing, doing what, what he, he loved. loved. Turning jeans, jeans into jorts. Why you keep taking my ball from me, man? Why you keep taking my ball? Okay. Oh, no. Okay. I'm gonna. Oh, oh yeah! Come on. One hit. Whoa! 